In this video, I want to compare and contrast the Wushdoff Icon to the Miyabi Birchwood Pairing Knife. Both are handmade, both are forged, but I really feel like the fit and finish of the Miyabi is second to no one. Every edge has been rounded out so there are no sharp corners. The handle is perfectly flush on either side. The logo is crisp and cut into the back, and you even have a beautiful mosaic pin, which is about 15 to 20 little tiny pieces of stainless steel, brass, and copper that have been pressed in individually into the handle to give it that little finishing touch. And it really gives you an idea of how much heart and soul goes into making this knife. The cutting edges are very different. The Wushtoff is a very sharp 14 degrees, while the Miyabi is an insanely sharp 9 degrees. And to put that in perspective, this is essentially going to be exponentially sharper than the Wushtoff. At the same time, the way the blades are made is very different. The Wushtoff is just a single piece of their proprietary steel, which is about a 58 hardness. And that means you are going to need to sharpen and hone this blade regularly. On the other hand, the Miyabi is made of SG2, a very high-end powdered steel, which is about a 63 hardness. And it's wrapped on either side in 50 layers of stainless steel to give it this gorgeous Damascus finish. And the 63 hardness steel means that as long as you're using this knife properly, realistically speaking, you are never gonna need to get it sharpened. Both knives are full tang, of course. The Wushtoff has a plastic handle and it's designed to really be as ergonomic as possible and I think they've really succeeded. While the handle of the Miyabi is made of birch wood, a gorgeous wood that was originally used in Fabergé eggs, and I don't think this video is going to do it justice. The wood honestly looks like a piece of marble, and it is just drop-dead beautiful. I think that especially with its handle shape, the D-shaped traditional handle, it fits into your hand perfectly, and it really makes it a joy to work with. But again, like this wood is just beautiful, and there's no way for me to even explain it, and you have to be here looking at it to see all the nuances in it. Either way, it comes down to a personal choice. I'll put a link down to both below. If you have any questions, any comments, or any concerns, as always, let me know. And otherwise, I will talk to you very, very soon.